What is up idols, how are you doing everyone? I'm back with another tutorial and I'm excited to show you three examples of text effect without any plugins required, which is the masking, the pop-up, and the glitch. And before we jump into Final Cut Pro, let's roll my intro. So let's begin with the masking. Basically you need a clip that someone is passing by in the frame if you want to use the masking title effect like our example here and uh, to start with the masking effect you need to add a basic title by simply pressing ctrl t on your keyboard that is the shortcut and now you need to highlight or select the basic title and open our inspector press this icon and then change the text i will name it masking okay and then you can change the font if you like and then change as well the size I will put 160 on this example. Next is to select a starting point where we can start the masking. So around here, you can drag as well the titles in the screen and then we will mask it with this tire or this bicycle passing by. So to achieve that one, we need to add a draw mask on our title. We go to effects browser and search for a draw mask and then drag it to our title. So now we have the title and the draw mask. So to, to give you a better view, you need to change the display here and then select 75%. Now you can drag as well here, arrange, so you have a better view. Okay, now we can add a control points on this text. Now we will make a shape around our wheel because it will mask our title. Then make a box for our title here. Now, this is really important. You need to go back to our video inspector, click this icon. The draw mask tool, you can see a transform and then right click, add keyframe and in control points as well, right click and add keyframe. Now we can start moving to the right by pressing the right arrow key on your keyboard. We will do it frame by frame. Press the right arrow key and then now we will follow this tire and drag this uh, mask until the text disappear. One more frame to finish our masking. Now if I will play it back, it look like this. Okay, it's so cool. Now if you want to soften the edges of our masking, you go back to draw mask tool and play the feather. It's up to you. So let's say like that. I'm happy for this one. And then we will zoom it out. Select fit for this time. And yeah, if we play it back again, this is the masking that we did. So we make another example for the masking. And this time the title appear because earlier we did the title disappear. Okay. Now for our second example, the title will appear. You need to add a text, Control T again, then select the title, go to Text Inspector, click this icon and then name it Masking. Change the font if you wish to do so and the size you can change as well. Now we have the text, we need to select a starting point where we can start our masking. So let's say this leg. Now we can drag the text and position it like this one. Click this icon and select 50%. So now we need to add a draw mask on this title. Drag it, our title, and then we can start putting a control point on our text. So one, two, three, four, five control points. Next is to go back to our video inspector and don't forget to add keyframe on transform and control points right click add keyframe and control points right click and add keyframe now we can start moving to the right by pressing right arrow key on your keyboard okay now we move uh, each frame until it will finish one more frame to complete our masking and then it look like this one now here's the trick you need to go back to our draw mask and invert mask click this box and if I will play it back it look like this the text appear after the subject pass by all right next is the pop-up text 
So to achieve this effect, you need to add another basic title, Control T, and select the title, go to Inspector. I will put pop-up text. So now we have the pop-up text. We change the font if you want and the size as well we'll change it to 150 so next step is to duplicate our uh, basic title layer uh, you just hold option and left click to your mouse and drag it up for this example i will um, make five layer of titles so now highlight the first uh, layer and drag in the display that you duplicate the text so another this one then this one Okay, now we have the five layer of pop-up text. Um, next is to separate every layer of the title for around 10 or 5 frames. So we will start it in the first layer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then move your second clip, and then count another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frame, move the third layer until the last layer of your title. And then after you have the separation of your layer, make sure that the end of your clip will be aligned. To complete the pop-up title effect, you need to add a sound effect, okay? So to add a sound effect, go to browser and add sound effect. I have this uh, pop-up text, just to download it in the freesound.org, type in the Google freesound.org and download it. You can search a lot of sound effects there if you want to use. So we will zoom in by pressing the add icon and then align the sound effects of your text layer, okay? And then you need to duplicate as well the pop-up sound um, sound effects. The same uh, process, you need to hold option and left click to your mouse and drag it below at this time. So we need five as well. Then you need to align each and every layer, okay? The sound effects, drag it here the third one so now we are finished of the pop-up text and i will play it back it look like this so yeah we are done on the pop-up text effect next example is the glitch effect so we need to add a basic title Control t again select the title go to inspector and change the name i will name it the glitch and the font, I will leave it Helvetica. For the size, I will change it for 160. So yeah, we have the title now. So next is to add the effect on our title. Open the effects browser, search for a bad TV, drag it into our title, and one more effect, which is the prism. Drag it again into our title. And then now we need to close our effects browser because we will not use it again so you have the glitch already here is the trick you need to zoom in first our timeline select this icon and zoom in and we need to do now is switch up every frame so to achieve that one press b on your keyboard to engage the blade tool so just uh, make a blade in each frame so like this until how many chop you like so let's say if you're done just press A to return to selection tool and you will delete every other frame, okay? Highlight and then hold command, select every other frame and hit delete. Now zoom out by pressing again that icon. To complete that uh, glitch effect, you need to add a sound effect, this one. I downloaded it in freesound.org again. So now if I will play it back, it look like this. And that is it for today's video I know. If you found it helpful, make sure you hit with thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Maxwell and as always, see you next time.